one of the successful solo plays of Philip Messenger was a new way to pay old debts, which was written in 1625. This play was inspired by Thomas Middleton's city comedy, A Trick to Catch the Old One, yet it was a much more powerful playwright and proved to be hugely successful. <clears throat> Uh, a new way to pay all debts in a feline uh, uh, line plays a drama in which the antagonist gains more center play space than the protagonist or a play that continuously resolve around the antagonist some other popular villain play include Milo's Tumberline, Zoo of Malta, and Shakespeare's Richard the Third. The villain of the villain of a new way to pay old debts is Sir Gilles Overdies, who is become a popular and decadent villainous. <coughs> character of English and American uh, stages during the 19th century. The play, the, the play is set in Nottinghamshire. The protagonist Frank Wilborn and his dead friend son Tom Allworth both have been duped and robbed of their money and estate by guilds over it. To avoid uh, penury, Tom Oliver chooses to become a page body of a local nobleman, Lord Lovell. It gives over his once his daughter Margaret over his to marry Lord Lovell as uh, as it would prove to be a very profitable relationship for him. However, Margaret has no interest in marrying Lord um, Lovell uh, because she is in love with Tom Allworthy. So, the story being here Frank will born meet. Uh, meets Tom Allworth's uh, widowed mother, <coughs> Lady Allworth, and uh, devises a plan to take re uh, revenge against Sir Gilles over it. So, <coughs> While Sir Gil Sovaris wants to marry the widow Lady Allworth to gain her remaining estate, Lady Allworth and Frank will uh, Brown uh, pretend to be in love. Okay, one of Gil Sovaris' acquaintances, Jack. Uh, um, Merle informed him about the affair between Lady Allworth and Frank. At first, he uh, doesn't believe Jack Merle, um, but where, uh, but when <coughs> he sees the two together with his own eyes, he again feels happy as he thinks that if Lady Allworth marries Frank Wilburn, then also he um, will be able to get her estate and he can easily fool Frank Wilburn again. He reveals his plans to um, Merle uh, and shows him acute villainous attitude to him jack moral gets frightened by him and goes through a sudden change of heart he decided to help wellborn and allward against gills over his frank and lady allward on the other hand have no plan to marry Lord uh, Lovell comes to know that Tom and Margaret are in love and he vows to help them get married, uh, married, uh, married. Being the 
page boy of Lord Lovell, Tom Orth, uh, continues to meet and uh, exchange messages with Margaret and Gilles over his doesn't oppose as he thinks that Tom is exchanging the message from Lord Lovell. To gain the trust of Frank Wellborn, Gilles Overridge uh, mains his relationship with him too and offers him a thousand pounds to facilitate the marriage of his daughter Margaret with Lord Lovell in a nearby village of Gotham. Uh, he um, he arranges a, a priest to to announce the marriage. Frank will want to take the money, but he uh, intends to facilitate the marriage of Margaret with Tom Allworth. When Gilles Allworth comes comes to know that his daughter's marriage is successfully performed he becomes very happy as he yet not know that she uh, hasn't been um, married to lord lovell meanwhile jack uh, morrell steals the for forged legal papers based on which Gilles Overridge captured the estate of Frank Wellborn and Tom Allward's father. He gives those papers to Frank Wellborn. Wellborn meets Gilles Overridge and reveals that his daughter has been married to Tom Allward. Sir Gilles over his all dreams and plans uh, shattered. He became aggressive and uh, demands the one thousand pounds back that he gave to Frank. Frank refuses to return the money. Rather, he shows that he now holds the uh, first paper and hence he again has acquired his and Tom's all words father's estate that Gilles had legally captured. Sir Gilles Overridge is now, uh, now um, a broken man. He decided to take law in his hands and uh, draws, uh, draws his sword but he cannot face uh, Frank Wellborn, Tom Allward, Jack Murrell Mar and Lord Lovell together at the same time. He loses his mental balance and uh, is taken into protective custody. Frank Wellborn announces seclusion and decides to join the military in the uh, regiment of Lord Lovell to serve the country. L Lady Oliver and Lord Lovell uh, agree to marry um, Margaret and Tom decided to turn control of the estate of Overridge to Lord Lovell so that he may facilitate the compensation for all the people who have been cheated and robbed by Sir Gilles Overridge. That's all for today. Stay connected with me.